just Fire Emblem fighters. Oh, and <laughs> yeah, definitely. But uh, for now, what we've got on the screen is we've got Game and Watch, Piranha Plant. So, yeah. you know, real, real common matchup here. Yeah, and we're, uh, and we're starting off on Pokemon Stadium 2. It's Mad versus 20 Piece McNugget. This is Edmund and Bash on the mic. Uh, yeah, already 20 Piece Nugget tw taking 91%, man. I was actually just before the tournament started saying, you know, I want to see some Piranha Plant. I want to know who the best Piranha Plant is. Uh, maybe 20 Piece McNugget can make a case for it here. Uh, he's definitely bringing it back right now. It got mad all the way to 81%. Yeah, definitely. I mean, I think it's just really hard to. Ooh, Ooh wow. the comeback using the uh, spike ball. I actually really don't remember like what move is what with Piranha Plant, so you're going to have to excuse me. Maybe you know yeah, the exact names. I believe yeah. that one's the the Patui. Yeah, that, yeah, 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 that one's called the Patui. But like, what is it? Is that that's his up B? No, that's, that's not his up B. That's his neutral B. Yeah, yeah, yeah. His down B is the Poison Cloud, right? That's the that's the side oh, no. B. And then the down B is the one where he like retreats launch, in and yeah, then yeah, yeah. shoots out. Cool, kind of cool. tries to bait people. Uh, yeah, I mean, I think that just one of the challenges of Piranha Plant Land is it just his moves don't feel. Great. Yeah. Like they don't connect in anything. You're not like, oh yeah, I got this down tilt. Now I'm getting these sweet like two forward airs in a row. It's like, yeah. I think the moves ind independently are re like really great. Like they're, they're, the back air is incredibly strong. It's, uh, it kills really early. Um, the spike ball is great for edge guarding. He has an amazing recovery, but it's it's like you said, none of his moves really work together. So his neutral is like very very difficult. He's a very fun character to watch, but. I I personally don't think he's one of the greatest. And yet, 20 piece McNugget is making it work. I mean, he's at 118% already down to the last stock. Mad bringing it right back in uh, the same fashion as that first stock. The uh, forward smash connecting, and we're at one stock apiece. Yeah, I mean, we're essentially even here. And oh my god, did that do 30%? Just one neutral view? That's Dear absolutely Lord. crazy. All right, big combos coming out here from Gra uh, Mad. He got the grab oh, into the neutral there. air. Tons of up airs coming out. Oh, the forward smash. You cannot overcommit. Yeah, when you're in that game and watch Vortex of the, uh, the up airs, you just do not want to jump there because it just gives him another opportunity. Yeah, if you expend your jump, I mean, your, your landing options are severely reduced and you're just going to eat so much more percentage off of that. Your opponent is going to know exactly where you're going to try to land. So it's, it's, it, oh, oh, yeah, that's it. Game. Down smash into the forward smash. I love how Game & Watch has a combo that's literally two smash attacks and it kills. <laughs> that's hilarious. Cool character as well. Meister doing really well with him uh, just this past weekend at Full Bloom got third place. So definitely a character that is up and coming. Like I, I think somewhat slept on. I think Zero had him as like bottom two on his tier list. Th but. Take that with a grain of salt. I don't really like to listen to Zero's tier list because I think he's he's trolling a lot of the time. He's doing it for the shock factor. He's trying to get clicks and trying to get views. That's just how I see it. But. Just making that money. Yeah, trying getting to make it, money. It, yeah. it. Can't for him. I can't blame him. Yeah, I can't blame him. The grind is real. Looks like we're going right back to, to Pokemon Stadium. So uh, did he switch his uh, his controls? I thought he yeah, he changed out, off of yeah. tilt stick to, uh, to smash. Oh, okay. So maybe that's something new that he's trying out. Uh, and is it, wh was it Matt or 20 Piece McNugget that switched? It, was, it must have been 20 Piece McNugget. I think it was uh, 20 Piece McNugget. Man, he was doing really good. If he's trying out a new control set, let's see what he can do better now if he's able to adapt to Mad here in this game number two. We're right back to Pokemon Stadium. Number two. Yeah, I mean, one of the things you know, I'm noticing here is that 20 Piece McNugget is not charging the side B at all. Like, he's not bothering to charge it. So maybe he just feels like that's just not worth the time investment. Probably. That he's giving up too much stage control yeah. and space for it. It's interesting because it doesn't really seem like it. Whoa, whoa okay. <laughs> and we did see like Meister give up a couple of stocks like that. I mean, typically Game & Watch can go for those offstage dares and uh, make it back to the stage. He has a really incredible recovery. Uh, starting to see the po Poison Cloud come out a little bit. Uh, it's a really good move, especially because I, you know, we haven't seen that move too much and we haven't seen much of the downbeat, um, which, you know, to pair together is, is a really good option in, in neutral. Yeah, you, you get know. a little bit of a little bit of deception, a little yeah. bit of mix up. It's hard to know exactly what's gonna like what they're doing in there. Yeah. <laughs> yeah oh, we'll the chair! Give him the chair. Looking like a wrestling match out here. Yeah. Down to two stocks apiece. Mad sitting at 67%. All right. 
right? Swing, swinging with that forward smash, 20 piece McNovit has control of the stage. Mad getting out of it though with those jabs. Yeah, the, I mean, I feel like Game & Watch is really kind of having trouble with uh, the Jacoby where he's not actually able to bucket it. Oh my god, there it is, the Patui once again, the spike ball coming out and eliminating Mad's second stock down to his last life here in game number two, 20 Peaks Link Nugget, definitely showing some prowess in this match. Yeah, so the bucket definitely is not picking up the, the Patui. Oh, the no, ball at no. All. It works and as a reflector, so the thing about Game & Watch's uh, bucket in this game is that it actually doubles as a reflector, so it can uh, reflect projectiles as well, so that's a big buff for Game & Watch. Yeah, definitely. I mean, the bucket is, I feel like it almost over centralizes some matchups. Oh, for In some cases, it's just like, all right, well, this is the most important part of this game. Yeah, it's polarizing for both players. Oh, man, the wonky angle. Luckily, 20 piece with Nugget and Piranha Plant does have a really good recovery. He's able to make it back to the stage. A lot of other characters might not have made, been able to make it back. Yeah, you're oh. Roy, you're, uh, you're not getting back from that one. Yeah. Roy, like, <laughs> Little Mac, <laughs> like, uh, Cloud, probably, unless you have Limit. Richter, Simon. Oh, and he grabs oh, him great. out of the, what looked like a down smash there. That gets him up in the air. Yeah, I mean, he's just basically brought this all the way right back almost to, to even after uh, kind of looking behind for a little bit one, a little bit there. Now he's just basically right back in it. All right, but a powerful back air right there. He's able to connect with the dash attack onto Mad's landing. He's uh, starting to tack on the percent little by little. He's got 83 versus his 69. Nice. Magical percent. Here we go. Charging up the poison cloud. Oh man, able to just escape in the nick of time. Oh! Alright, Mad was uh, playing a little cheeky there with the poison cloud, hiding in it himself, taking a little bit of damage, but also, you know, hiding his movement, his own movement. Yeah, I mean, if he connected a down smash while he's in there when, uh, you know, 20 Piece is trying to come in there and get him, you know, that's definitely worth the, the trade, because that's just a kill right then and there. Yeah, absolutely. Oh, yep, there, there it is. is. Down smash to forward smash, and that's going to clean it up. 2-0, nothing but 2-0s on the screen so far. Mad gonna take that one, and 20-piece McNugget gonna take a dip to the loser's bracket. I love his tag, though. He's a winner in my heart. Oh, yeah, no, I, I love all the tags <laughs> that you get 20, out at locals. 20-piece McNugget, dude. <laughs> He's a fan. Oh, and it looks like we've got uh, I'm Hip yeah. coming on here. Yep, so indeed. See how this goes. Should be, should be a good one. Uh, set with I'm Hip is always a good one. Yeah, I'm kind of, uh, I'm expecting to see the Olimar game one, and then uh, yeah. we'll, we'll see what we get after that one, Exactly, right? yeah. If, he, if he's able to, like, um, get that game one in, uh, get the victory in game one, he tends to experiment with a lot of his other secondaries. I know I was playing him right before the bracket, and uh, he's working on a wolf. So he oh. has a wolf. I know he has an inkling. He has a, uh, what was the other character he was Duck playing? Hunt. Duck Hunt. And yeah. he's got a Ridley. Ridley, because that, that I knew he had a duck hunt from Smash 4, but it was I was thinking of like what two new characters he has. So yeah, new new characters that he has in this game. He has uh, 